All right, as we enter a lame duck congressional session, the Senate Majority Leader says he's going to focus on one of President Trump's top priorities. We're certainly going to try to help the president uh, achieve what he'd like to do with regard to the wall and border security. And that'll obviously have to be done on some kind of bipartisan, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> some kind of bipartisan discussion. All right, does the move stand a chance? Fox News contributors Leslie Marshall and Mark Thiessen are here to wait. And welcome to both of you. Good to be with you. Hi, Shannon. Okay, so uh, some government funding for some key places is going to run out come December 7th. Leslie, do they risk a shutdown over this? They risk a shutdown, and I think it's a, a really, a really ridiculous to even look at this. I mean, when you look at not polls, but we had an actual election yesterday that shows that the country is very divided, very divided on immigration, certainly divided on this wall. And what we need is not a wall and not, not a wall that we can't afford, but comprehensive immigration reform, which this wall doesn't address. And I think it's really mm -hmm. foolish uh, for Republicans to do this as a parting shot before they lose the majority in one of the chambers. All right, the president was asked about this in that wide-ranging news conference today. Here's what he said. Are you prepared to go on a shutdown strategy during the lame duck since this might be your last best chance? Not necessarily. To secure that? Sense. Look, I speak to Democrats all the time. They agree that a wall is necessary. A wall is necessary. And as you know, we're building the wall. We've started, but we should build it at one time, not in chunks. All right, Mark, the president talked a lot today about working with potentially yeah. Speaker Pelosi and other Democrats on things like infrastructure, immigration, the wall, everything else. Do you think that's going to come to fruition? What do you see? I, I think it could, but it really depends on the Democrats. So the president today made very clear that he wants to cut deals uh, with the Democrats. And uh, quite frankly, the test is whether the Democrats want to cut deals with him. Uh, and one of the tests of that will be whether they're willing to cut a deal that involves a wall, which is not objectionable. Leslie may think it's not worth the money, but it's not. there's nothing wrong, inherently wrong with the wall. They voted for the Secure Fence Act a few years ago, so it's nothing particularly wrong with it. It's a major priority for the president, are they willing to trade that for something? Mm -hmm. uh, and it could be something having to do with DACA, could have something to do with, with, with immigration, could be something completely unrelated, could be something to do with infrastructure. But they have, to, they have to make a decision whether they're going to use their newfound power to make deals with Donald Trump or to continue to try and destroy Donald Trump. And you can't do both. You, ha you, you cannot be a governing majority and also the resistance at the same time. It doesn't work. So, that, so Nancy Pelosi has a real challenge because I think she wants to cut deals because she's going to be speaker for what two years or something like that before there's a transition to a new generation of leaders she wants some legislative accomplishments under her belt and she needs trump for that but she's got a caucus that doesn't want to work with him that wants to destroy him you got jerry nadler caught on the on the acela today talking about all the all the investigations he's going to do uh you've got you've got maxine waters and some of these people with committee chairman mm -hmm. she's got to bring her caucus around to the idea that we're now we're not just resistance anymore we're the governing majority well, who's going to cut deals with donald Trump. Yeah, Leslie, how do they thread that needle? Because today the president was asked about this as well in the press conference, and he talked about, he was asked about whether you can be under investigation, have subpoenas coming at the White House, but also be sitting down to make these deals on infrastructure or healthcare or anything else. And he basically said, no, that's unacceptable. Uh, so I, I either investigate me or work with me, but he doesn't want to see both from the House. So does that mean nothing gets done? Well, I think there are things that are going to get done. I mean, one of the things, Shannon, that I, I saw that was interesting today is historically female politicians are more successful uh, with working in a party that's different than their own, reaching across the aisle and getting things done. Uh, Nancy Pelosi is a female if she ends up being House Speaker. She has sat down with the president before. Today, he seems very confident about her becoming Speaker. <laughs> and I think the Democrats want to cut deals, but they also have to cut deals that are not just right uh, for the American people, but for the constituents in this country that gave them the majority last night. And, and the majority of Democrats don't want the wall. They want immigration reform. They want border security. But they don't believe a wall is the way to go. So, Mark, I agree with you not, that they have to cut deals with the president. Serious. But that doesn't necessarily well, mean giving him his wall but that, to cut no, the does. deal that they it, want. Honestly, Leslie, it does because you part of negotiating is giving up something you don't want to give in exchange for getting something I agree. you want. And it's I agree, very but clear. I, I, I certainly and, hope it's not the wall. And there's lots of things that Democrats could take 
take a stand on that they find inherently unacceptable, there's nothing wrong with a wall. They, I mean, they, they most of the Democratic leaders voted for a wall. So, you know, this is the, I mean, Donald Trump, if you look today, the big fear conservatives had when he came into office was that he was going to start cutting deals with Chuck Schumer, because let's not forget, until a few years ago, Donald Trump was a Democrat, right? He's, he's, he is not an ideologue. He's a deal maker. And so, you know, with he, and he agrees with Democrats on a lot of stuff like trade, like minimum wage, other things like that. And what happened was the Democrats went into resistance mode and they pushed him into the arms of the right because they didn't want it. They, they wanted to resist him. Now, Donald, now they've got a majority and they have to deal with each other. Okay. Donald Trump is more than willing to cut deals, but they have to meet them part yeah. of the way. Well, you got to remember, it wasn't that long ago that Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi had a meeting with the president at the White House. Mm -hmm. They thought they came out of it with some kind of deal uh, and that didn't actually happen. So they say they're a little bit <laughs> leery of trying to get these things done with them. But Leslie and Mark, we'll see. Thank you Thank both. Thank you for having me. Thank right. you.